the young metro don't trust you, I'm gonna shoot you. Beautiful morning, you're the sun of my morning, babe. Nothing in the water. How's it going guys, it's Carson here, and today I'm doing a special video uh, with my good buddy Sean McCaddy, and today we're going to be showing you how to use TeamViewer. TeamViewer is a remote administration tool, but it's, it's the good kind, it's not a bad rat, it's a good rat, it allows you to, with consent, gain access to a computer um, where the recipient is aware of everything that's going on, and you can basically do anything that the user can do on the other side. Uh, but you can do it from the comfort of your own home. Now, if you're confused, it's okay. Uh, we're going to actually show you how to do it. So first thing you want to do is you want to actually have the program installed. So I'm going to go to Google Chrome and go ahead and type in Team Viewer. So I type that in and we hit, have this option here. It says download Team Viewer. Let's go ahead and click that. And we're going to just download Team Viewer right now. Um, I'm going to save this under my downloads. Yours might just start downloading right away. And if that's the case, right on. So just uh, 10 seconds left. Perfect. So once it's done downloading, go ahead and launch it. And just go ahead and click the run button. And you have a couple different options here. You'll have basic installation, installation to access, and run only. We're, gonna, we're just gonna go with the basic installation. And in this case, I'm using it for personal use. Accept, yes and let it install. It's gonna go ahead and install, and up it comes. So, <clears throat> by default, by the way, this is, this is gonna be a program that's gonna launch whenever your computer starts. If you don't want that and you're on Windows 7, just go to the Start menu, type in MS Config, hit Enter, go to Startup, the Startup tab here, and you can delay it. Um, I'm not gonna worry about that now. But uh, okay, so here we go. We have TeamViewer open and we're presented with a couple different things here. So we're presented with an ID and a password. Now, in this case, my buddy Sean is going to be on the receiving end. He likes to receive. <laughs> Big surprise, right? Uh, <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go contact Sean and get his user ID and his password so we can connect to his machine. I'm gonna use Discord in order to do this and there he is sitting there all, all lonely. Let's go cheer him up. All right, how's it going, Sean? Good, how are you doing, buddy? You ready to go? Hell yeah. Mind sending me your password and your ID? Coming right up, my friend. And again, the great thing about uh, Team Viewer is that he needs to give me his password and, and his ID uh, in order for me to do anything. And they are not static, meaning that they do change. So one, it's not like now that I have his password and his ID, I can access it whenever I want. It's always changing, and Team Viewer has to be open. So I'm going to copy this right Perfect. here. And we just want to put this into the partner ID and we're going to go ahead and click connect to partner and it's going to ask for a password and he has kindly sent us his password as well and we're going to copy minimize that paste and log on so it connected so pretty, it connect quickly. pretty quickly pretty uh, quickly sean i'm hearing uh, a, sean, little, I'm bit hearing a little bit of an echo uh, uh, actually echoing through, through the discord i guess uh, yeah i guess uh, yeah i guess I'm actually just going to hang up the Discord, hang up the Discord and demonstrate and this, and then you can, then you can go ahead and... Go ahead and okay, I'll finish up with my people. Sounds good, buddy. Sounds good. All right, thanks for the, right, thanks thanks for the, the info. Thanks for the info. Yeah, thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Love you. Love you. Love you, bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, now we are, again, we are at Sean's uh, desktop, and we can actually do whatever we want. We can <laughs> close the browser here. We can go to his, his um, start menu. We can access his files if we wanted to. We're not going to do any of that because... Uh, I don't think you guys want to see what he's got on his computer. <laughs> you can see a couple of interesting icons here, but uh, anyway, yeah, that's how to connect. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys, uh, if you guys want to see how, how it looks from his perspective, then obviously he'll have a video on his channel. I'll leave a link in the description. Of course, you guys can go check it out and see what's going on on his end uh, so you guys know what to expect, and he'll kind of fill you in with the rest. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next video.